downloading, unzipping, and starting the program for the deviation emulators. First you want to go to the deviation website. I have a link in there in my description. For this example, I'm going to choose the Devo 8 emulator. I just click download. Now make sure if you're using whatever browser, web browser, to save the file, don't open it. Now I'm using Mozilla Firefox for this example. So I want to save it. Then go to your download location where you downloaded the file. Now this is the important part. You have to unzip it. If you just left click it, all it's going to do is open up the compressed file and show you the files. Now if you go to try to run the emulator, you're going to get an error message. You see the error message right here. And there's the file, but it can't access it because the file is zipped. So you want to go back. Windows has a built-in uh, zip unzip program, so highlight it. Right click it with your mouse. Select extract all. And hit extract. Use all the, the defaults it shows you here. Now it's going to unzip it. You could close the window. And here's the files in the system. Now you can go back and you could delete the zipped file because you don't need it anymore. Now to run the emulator all you do is click this file here. And you're going to have two windows that open. One's the emulator and one's a command prop window. Take the command prop window and hit the minus key. That'll make it run in the background and that's it. That's the, that's the emulator. Inside here, the emulator files, there's a file system, and it'll say Debo 8, 7E, 10, or 12, depending on which emulator you have. And here's the folders it has. Here's all your models and layouts, languages, icons, templates.